Hello, hello, and hello. Welcome back, dreamers, friends, OGs, and newcomers. If you enjoy your visit today, I hope you press that subscribe button along with that thumbs up so it helps people find my channel and helps my channel to grow. I am a dollhouse miniaturist, 35 plus years. This particular magazine, Dollhouse Miniatures, is one that I am subscribed to. This goes for $10.95 in the U.S., $15.95 in Canadian. This is issue number 97 for 2024. Now, this front photo is absolutely just divine with its simplicity. Um, I love how they outlined a lot of this furniture with that dark feature there and even look at this crazy long feather as an inkwell look how big that is but it looks great <laughs> it's out of scale but it looks great and all the detail here on the chair including how they put all this faux it looks like they're faux um, nail heads very beautiful so a lot of inspiration right there alone now, as we open it up, we're going to have our advertisements. We're going to see some advertisements here. Let me move this. Put my little, this was a gift <laughs> from the Rose Life. I love turning it on when I'm in here. Um, you'll see different places where you can make purchases. Then you have an overview of your articles that you're going to find in here. Now, I am also... Uh, I also receive American Miniaturist Magazine, okay, and um, that one has more DIYs and the skill level is from beginner to advanced, okay. This is, they give you DIYs in here as well, but most of the things that, that are in here are more highly advanced, beautiful scenes, um, just like this one. It's just breathtaking what you see here. These are the kind of things that you'll find. So this is a beautiful article. It's turning a mini scene into a work of art. This is an actual dollhouse miniature scene, you guys. This is not real life like you can walk into. Um, and if you... <laughs> If this was, it would take my breath away. Um, this is absolutely stunning what they've done here. So this is going to be a very nice article and great room pictures to look at for inspiration to recreate. Um, I'm even looking at this beautiful kitchen. It's very cozy. And you see the different, um, you have like uh, different things here on the wall. Then you have that kind of tile, that kind of tile. Then you have this kind of design of wood here. And even here is two different colors on the cabinetry. But it all goes so well. It goes so well. And it looks here, if you look, um, a stained glass window effect there. Very pretty along with this one right here. Very pretty. Moving on. Again, you're still continuing on through that home. As you can see, there's a theme with these stained glass windows right here. And this is the bathroom. If you guys know me, I'm really weird about bathrooms. <laughs> I don't have a bathroom in any of my dollhouses. I just don't. There's something to, I just, I, I just don't. I don't want them in my dollhouse. I'm not interested. I don't know why, but I'm really funny about it. If you stick around, maybe we get to know each other a little bit more. <laughs> Hope you subscribe. Um, so this is a classic lug luggage sets with a vintage look. So here we go. We have some beautiful vintage looking um, pieces here. Look at this. So it gives you lots of inspiration of things that you can try to create on your own. And it's, you know, talking to the creator and asking them questions. Look at this. These are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Just, it, it's the detail. Now, again, they have some Etsy shops here and then some stores that you can go and visit. And I always try to um, buy from, you know, from your, uh, your mom and pop stores whenever you can. Um, this is Dollhouse, Tiny Dollhouse Teddies. The miniature artist is Natalia. Ivanova. 
and she's created these gems like there's even like a little like a little window or a door here inside of that one and a little teddy bear is coming out oh my gosh that is precious and then look at look at the beautiful little blanket and the little toys and the little teddies inside it's completely lined and you could tell this has fabric and look at that one look how tiny that one is and look at the little scene on that side and the little pandas they look like a little pandas and then it has a lovely article to read as you continue to look at these treasures they're beautiful and then here they're talking about American miniaturist that's like um, if I had American miniaturist I'll have a copy he right here to show you it's like the size of that big of this magazine it's like only that big it's more like a purse size versus a full size but they're all part of the same company so this one's called lights camera Christmas Isla Bis creates a snapshot of Christmas magic in a small scene so that's like a vintage camera and she's creating scenes in them that's very different oh I like that one look at that that is so different oh wow Look at, look at the way they did this one and it's a book and you actually open it up it's like a scene in the inside and it lights up the fireplace lights up oh that is crazy oh now look at that ginger's victorian gothic dollhouse wow look at the work on that one that's one beautiful lady wow Look at the work. Look at the detail. It's crazy. Oh, wow. These you would like study and you try to recreate. Oh, that's that leaves me speechless. Now they have sculpt, sculpting and braiding some mini garlic. So showing you how to do mini garlic like this. Now I purchased mine from timu and they have it on timu so if you don't know how to do it with Fimu and you don't you just can't wrap your head around this you can purchase them because it is some work that's involved some people have the knack for it i simply don't i just don't handmade miniature animal char characters now look at that a lot of people work with doll doll themes that are an animal animal form that is cool oh look at the bear look at mr bear and look at this fox oh my gosh he is charming and then look at the little mouse couple oh that is just so much fun look at that I know you could probably hear my son he's in his room playing a game with some of his friends and then this is how to add flocking to your miniature so showing you how to do flocking which is you know it's some work I do have flocking and um, I tried my hand with it excuse me yeah this girl's tired um I tried my hand with it I didn't do so well but I might I might give give it a go again because that was like in my earlier years so i might give it a go again now they have a miniature show report for 2023 look at that oh beautiful so it's telling you the different artists the different artists the artisans and they created these from the different shows oh wow look at that piece wow look how whoa now this right here this table i shared um from timu they sell this table on timu and what they did is just they painted it but that table is it's available for sale on timu i shared that on a video before and i gave links to them um wow i'm like 
I'm going to have to sit for a while and really take these in. I know I'm trying to go as fast as possible. I just opened it up myself with you, so I'm kind of taking it in. So handed down through generations, this vintage Gothenburg house gives many years of pleasure to a daughter before her mother transforms, transforms it with her own passion. Wow. Yeah, because there's different kinds of dollhouses and they have vintage ones. Wow. Now, the main purpose for a dollhouse when it originally created, um, it was to show a young lady, a young, a young girl, how to take care of a home. And you would create a dollhouse and teach them how and what duties they were to perform to care for their homes. That's rather interesting. And then it turned into... Um, you know, something more after that. Now, this is a miniature antique shop full of treasures. That is so cool. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty. So pretty. Wow. Oh, look at that balcony. And look at all the wrought iron look. Even on a door. And look at all the cases and the displays. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Then you have contest products, news, and views for miniaturists. Big buzz. Then we have little letters, feedback, and stories from devoted readers. These are from readers that they sent it in. Another way to subscribe to American Miniaturist right here. Then we have make some perfect mini peonies. So they had the DIY for the braided garlic. Now they have a DIY to make your own floral peonies. Okay. Miniature bookcases in many styles. So we have this and this is beautiful. You know, have you ever sat to try to make a book? It's, um, it can be very time consuming. So it's a true treasure when you get books and they are leather bound or faux leather bound. Because I've made books. <gasps> Witchy Poo Room Box. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to sit back and look at that one with some time. This has so much detail. <laughs> oh, look at all the witches' brooms. I love that. Oh, my gosh. And like a little frog prince with a little crown. And you see the little frog prince and the witches' brooms. Oh, wow. <laughs> all the quadrants are all lined up this is so cool that's going to be a nice one to read indeed oh my gosh and then here we got some cutouts photocopies of these cutouts may be made for personal use only so yeah you can cut these out or photocopy them and you know and keep on printing them out for your own use and they're beautiful and then they have this beautiful backing as well if you wanted to photocopy this for a wallpaper. That's beautiful. There you go. Well, that was our walkthrough for issue 97 of 2024 for Dollhouse Miniatures. I hope you guys enjoyed it and know that you can subscribe for this. And you can buy individual ones. Just go to dhminiatures.com. So dhminiatures.com. Thanks for coming by. Talk to you later. Bye.